guys, Janet from The Empty Nest here again, and I had promised you uh, to do a video on frottage. That's F-R-O-T-T-A-G-E. And frottage is a, well, actually, if you look it up, you're gonna find a couple of meanings. One is a rather sexual one. Um, we're not gonna do that one today. <laughs> what we are gonna do is the artistic one. So basically, it's a French word meaning rubbing. So we're going to use uh, paper to rub a design onto here. So we're gonna start, this is just a cabinet door. Um, I painted it on Teeb's green. And what I'm going to do first is, I've got some of the Annie Sloan clear wax. I've got my Annie Sloan wax brush. Oops, I'm just gonna put a little on there. And I just wanna put a quick, and I don't worry about uh, perfect coverage. You can see there's a little, uh, this was white underneath. There's some showing through. We're gonna layer paint on here, so this doesn't matter. I just wanted to get a base coat of green. So I'm just gonna clear wax. You see how I'm waxing? Very easy, like buttering toast. Just pushing it gently in. I'm not exerting myself. If your arm's hurting when you're waxing, you're doing it wrong. Go in different directions because I painted in different directions. Okay, and then I'm just, my blue shop towels, I folded them so I'll have clean sides. I'm just starting to wipe away. It's surface is tacky, so I can't really go in circles, see it grabs. So I'm just gonna make it easy on myself and hardly push it all. I'm gonna let this rag do all the work. See all that wax building up? You can see it and I can feel it, it's very waxy. That's telling me to turn to a clean side. Don't keep working with the dirty side. Okay, so let's just keep doing this. And it's already feeling better. I can feel it, it's gliding nicer. And since I'm gonna be layering, I don't I'm not really gonna worry about getting every bit of this wax off. It's not that important. Okay, that feels good enough. Set that aside. Um, so we're gonna start with Antibes Green. The next color I'm gonna put on is Napoleonic Blue, which is a beautiful, rich blue. I've put it in this little yogurt cup and I've added water, so it's a little runny. Uh, what I've been doing lately in the shop, we really like this. We add water on our second coat usually when we paint. Thins out the paint just a bit, makes it glide off the brush nice. But sometimes as you're pouring your water in, you can over pour and then you got too much. We've just been getting these little garden spray bottles and look how it's much easier just to mist a little bit of water in you. It's almost impossible to overwater with this bottle. So now I've got my Annie Sloan. This is a small Annie Sloan brush. Uh, you can hardly see it, but it does say Annie Sloan right there. So I'm just gonna pick up this watered down Napoleonic and put that on. Just put even coverage. It doesn't matter really how you apply it because you'll see in a minute. You can slip it, slap it on any way you want. It's not gonna matter. And you want it a little bit, I might even want a little bit more water in that. You want it slightly runny, but not really watery. Okay. And I think, now while this is nice and wet like this, I'll set that aside. I've got this piece of just brown kind of wrapping paper and I'm just going to crumple it up. You want to make sure you get a lot of nice crinkles in there. And then open it, but don't smooth it out nice. Leave it kind of crinkled like that. See all the crinkles in it still? I'm just going to lay it on. And this is where the frottage or the rubbing part comes in. Don't do this, don't smooth it, just push it down. And I wanna get into all the crevices. And hopefully this will work. I always get a little worried that I'm gonna do something like that and I'm gonna say, voila, and there's nothing there. So cross your fingers. Okay, you ready? And just lift it up. Whoa, perfect. Look at that. See that we got going on here? Now in here, if it's a little too dark for you, I can crumple this back up and I can just go back in there and pick, see how I pick some of that up? 
in there. See that? I can pick it up. Look at that. It takes on like a marbly. I love this. This is great if you've got a piece of furniture that has some damage to it. It's going to cover all of that damage beautifully. So, this is going to be the end of this section of the tape because we're going to have to stop. I'm going to let this dry and then we'll come back and we're going to do another layer of color. But isn't that looking great already? And look how easy that was. So, stay with us. We're gonna film another one in just a few minutes when I get this dried and then we will be back and I will probably try to post these videos uh, right one after the other so you won't have to wait. So we'll see you in a little bit. Thank you, bye-bye.